The coins of love. Yeah, perfect, actually. We're talking to Power of Evil and Vardax, and I'm going to just repeat what uh, the Fisho said. Can't make sense of it. Got destroyed yesterday versus SK Gaming, and then this game today. So honestly, what happens from a day from Thursday to Friday when, when things like this happen with the unicorns? I think we were all a bit shaken up after yesterday. I think we expected to go in a lot stronger into the games, and then stuff happened, and things didn't go as planned, and yeah, we kind of lost. So yeah. Speaking about things going as planned or not going as planned, looking at the draft in this game, Vardags, were you expecting the Gangplank after seeing the bans before? Well, the ban yesterday kind of, it, like, it gave us the idea that it might happen. So we had it in our mind and we kind of planned for it a bit, that it might, like, occur in this match. But we were definitely surprised with how they picked Grog as a Rek'Sai, and we kind of expected Gragas to go top and then Gangplank happened, so... A lot of surprises in this game. One of them will be the Orianna. Now, I was checking your solo queue account a couple of weeks back and saw Orianna just in a load of games with Smite. Walk us through it. What's the, what's the thought process behind it, Power of Evil? Well, so I tried to build an item build around not picking a Fiends because I really dislike a Fiends on Arena. I feel like I go, I go out of mana way too fast in a lot of team fights, and if I don't get the resets, you have a huge problem. So I was going for the Tia Morello's item build a lot of times, but it is a lot of scaling and you get really slow, really like much damage. So I tried the Runeclave Orianna. You have uh, a lot of mana for the Sheen. You have early game pressure with the Red Smite. And with the Nashors combined, you do a lot of damage without attacks, around 300 if you have Rabadons afterwards. And it's all just stacking. Nashor's damage, normal auto attack, arena passive, and then if you have Red Smite, you do like 400 damage every auto attack, and with Runeclave, 700 da damage auto attack, so you pretty much are like a good AD carry. There you go. Perfect. And on top of that, you also had a good AD carry in Vardex by your side. Uh, Forgiven coming out with the Lucian once again, of course. Yesterday, it, it had a victory. Uh, how do you think it did in this game? How do you think your game went on Corky? I think Forgiven is always scary when he plays on Lucian. I think that's the reason he picked up the first win on Lucian in the actual LCS. So I think we did pretty decent. It was kind of passive and just farming up, but you always kind of have to respect when he plays something like Lucian or Graves. Yeah, definitely uh, have to respect that power coming out of that. And the power coming out of Power of Evil, we have the replay of your pentakill. You said you were still nervous uh, after we're going to pull it up on the screen so that you can look at it again. Tell me about the, com the comms as well at that point. Are you screaming, give me that penta? You can roll the clip. Yeah, so after I got the triple kill, I was uh, really excited. I wanted to get the quadra on Lucian, so I flashed QW and auto him. And you can see like the item build. It's like two spells, one auto attack, and the guy is dead. So afterwards, I'm like screaming, let me the Penta! And everyone is like using everything on Ari, and I'm like getting <laughs> surprisingly the Penta kill. Your teammates tried to dupe you there, or what? Well, I actually think they tried to just see her, but I was, it was like getting so close on like 1 HP or something, Ari, so I was like, no! Were you trying to just CC her? Oh, you can't, obviously, but were you trying to kill yeah, her? Yeah, I, I obviously trying. wanted to give him the Penta, so okay. I missed the rocket on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> and all the other times, oh, just kidding. <laughs> Wow. Wow. wow, shots Shot. fired. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, one thing we kind of wanted to touch on just uh, before we let you go, Kigis obviously left the team last week. How is the mentality now in the team? You've got Gilius for this week. H how has it been uh, for you guys? I think like it, it was pretty weird because obviously we played with Kigis for a long time and now for the first time playing with a different jungler. I think mentality-wise we're, we're fine, like we're the same old team of players, but we kind of have to adapt and we kind of have to adjust to playing with uh, someone new. I think um, our scrims in the last week is a little bit better motivation-wise. Every like it's normal. I think if a new player comes in, I think all the old members, includes uh, inclusive me, is like a little bit more motivated now. Again, like getting like a fresh start, and we expected this week to be rough because it's like a new jungle, we need new synergy, but. We will try our best to like get successful, and we actually expect it to come on stronger from our scrims performance. Mm -hmm. So we were actually pretty surprised of yesterday's performance and kind of shocked, I would say, as well. Um, talking about expectations, of course, you guys are the number two team coming out of the playoffs in spring. So what are you thinking in terms of making that playoff spot and what you guys can do? Is it constantly lingering? Just give us those best of fives because we're so good in that. I think for us, we obviously right now the goal is just to make playoffs because we're 8-8 eight, eight right now, there are two more games to go. Last bit, we went 9-9 in the regular season, so we want to make it a bit better and go 
uh, and yeah, we just aim for playoffs and hopefully do as good as we did last split. Well, we, yeah, we are aiming to take the first win from Fnatic, so we hope next week they're going to win at Thursday and we win against them in front. <laughs> There we, we go. Show the magic. We will see uh, if that happens. You did it before. So, well, uh, congratulations. Fantastic victory. Thanks. Fantastic pentakill. And now for a look at who raked in the most fantasy points today, we're going to hand it over to Quickshot. Thank you.